What's up everybody? Welcome back to Chasing Green. Thanks for joining me on another one. I'm all about duck hunting here. All kinds of duck hunting videos. So consider subscribing if you hadn't already. But today is for those who love to eat duck. I'm about to change your life with this recipe. Now I didn't come up with this. My buddy Cody Bays, he's been on the channel a few times. He's actually the one that told me about this. And when he told me it was just game changer. Now we've all had duck poppers before. Now let's just cut up pieces of duck wrapped in bacon, stuffed with cream cheese and jalapenos and thrown on the grill. It's a great recipe, all time favorite. I love eating duck poppers but I hate preparing them. It takes forever to wrap them up and we all know if you don't wrap it in a ton of bacon, you know the cream cheese goes everywhere on the grill. Well this changes all that. So the first thing we're going to do is ladies light your gas, men get your charcoal going. <laughs> After we get our fire started, we're gonna head back to the kitchen and we're gonna cut up some jalapenos. Now I cut up about four here, but you really only used half of it. It just depends on how much jalapeno you want in the mix. I'd say two to three, somewhere in there would be a good start. And we're just gonna cut up our, our jalapeno into pieces that really don't matter. We're about to throw them in a the blender. We just wanna help the blender out some. Once you get them cut up, chunk them in the blender and get it going. Now you don't wanna liquefy them here, but you do want them chopped up pretty finely, as you can see here. Once we have our jalapenos blended up, we're gonna push that to the side and take out our bacon. Now I like to use maple bacon because I like uh, a sweetness with my barbecue and that maple just adds a nice flavor. Also, I've marinated these ducks for like the past two or three nights after I cut them up so they are ready to go. Now we're gonna take our bacon and we're gonna cut it. I like to cut it in half. I know some people that like to wrap their duck in, in a whole piece of bacon and then put another piece on it. I like duck. I don't need a lot of bacon in my duck. You know, one of my favorite ways to eat duck is to just grill it like a steak to medium rare and just eat it with a sauce. So I don't, you know, love just a ton of bacon wrapped around my duck. I take my bacon and I cut it in half. You can cut it in thirds if you needed more bacon you were trying to make it last, but half is about right because that allows you to wrap it around the duck about one and a half times. So we're gonna wrap our duck, stick it with a toothpick, throw it in the pan. Once we got all our duck wrapped up, we're gonna take our cream cheese. I like to use two blocks of it. Now if you got a lot of people you're trying to make a lot of this you're gonna need a little more get you a non-stick pot the non-stick part is key we're about to put this on the stove and and melt this cheese you don't want it to burn and get sticky throw your cheese in the pot turn your heat on medium to medium high somewhere in there and just get the cheese melted once it gets pretty melted down and starts bubbling throw in your chopped up jalapenos now you gotta stay with this the whole time that it's cooking it's stirred ever so often you do not want to stick it'll ruin everything once you got your jalapenos in there let it bubble for just a minute and then shut it off now we're gonna take our duck and have out to the fire. Now one thing to keep in mind here, the biggest mistake that I see people make with duck is that they overcook it. I'm not a food expert. I'm not telling you what's safe or not. I'm just telling you what I do. Uh, you know, I can eat a steak medium, medium well, even though I like it medium rare. It's not that big a difference with a steak. With a duck, it changes everything. A well done duck versus a medium rare is like two completely different animals. So the way I like to do that is just to get my bacon done and when it's done, I know the duck's ready to go. I can't give you a time on this. It depends on how hot your fire is, how close it is to the fire. You know, a good rule of thumb would be about seven minutes though on each side you know get the bacon done on both sides and your duck should be good you can always check the temp though if you want to make sure once your duck's done we're going to head back inside and, and kind of let it rest for a second we're going to uh, get our cheese back heated up if it's cooled off any and what we've done here is we've created an epic cream cheese and jalapeno dip we're going to take our done duck and we're going to get the biggest scoop of that dip as we can on it. Your taste buds are about to explode with awesomeness. This makes the whole process of cooking duck poppers so much easier. This dip is amazing. If you have some left over, it goes good on burgers, it goes good on chicken, steak, whatever it may be. This is an amazing dip. And it more importantly, it makes the process of making duck poppers 10 times easier. It doesn't take near as long to prepare. It doesn't take as long to cook. You get way more cream cheese. A really great process. I think if you try this, it will blow your mind and you will be just as happy with it as I was. Now, if you're sitting there saying to yourself, I don't have any duck because I've struggled to kill any, check out this playlist right here to see my greatest tips. I really think you can learn a lot from watching our hunts and you can check out last year's hunts in this playlist right here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I love you and Lord willing, I'll catch you next time right here on Chasing Green.